Cream no. sucks. I can't yeah. stand him. He's too cold. Take it, Nick. Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. Who would do that? Oh. You, you with your face bent to the ground, do you admit or deny you did this? I declare and I make no denial. You can take yourself wherever you please, free and clear of heavy responsibility. You, however, tell me, not at length, but briefly, did you know that an edict had forbidden this? I knew it, how could I not? It was public. Even, and now you have stared or stepped that law? Yes, yeah, since it was not Zeus that published the edict for me, and since not of that kind of laws with justice, who share a dwelling with the gods below, established among men. Nor did I think that your decrees could override the unwritten and unfailing rules of gods. For their life is not today or yesterday, but for all time, and no man knows when they were first put forth. Not for fear of any man's opinion was I about to owe a penalty to the gods for breaking these. But die before I must, that I knew well, how could I not? That is true even without your edicts, but if I am to die before my time, I count that a game. Crazy. When one lives as, any, as I do, surrounded by evils, how could they not carry off profit by dying? So for me to meet this doom is a grief to no account. But if I endured that my mother's son should lie in death an unburied corpse, that would have pained me. Yet for this, I am not pained. And if my actions are foolish in your sight, then it's a fool that accuses me of folly. Oh she shows herself the wild offspring of a wild father and does not know how to bend before evils. Yet remember that over stubborn spirits most often collapse. It is the stiffest iron baked to utter harness in the fire that you see snapped and shivered. Wow. I have witnessed horses with greater spirit disciplined by a small bit. For there is no praise implied when one is his neighbor's slave. This girl practiced an outrage when she overstepped that law that had been made public. And that done, this is now the second outrage that she glories in and insults in her deed. In truth, I am no man, but she is, if the power rests with her and brings no penalty. No, rather she is my sister's child, or nearer to me in blood than any of the king that worships us in the altar of our house. She and her sister will not escape the doom most evil. For in truth, I accuse that other of an equal share in plotting of the burial. Call her out. I saw her just now raging with a wolf-like fury, not in control of her mind. Before the deed, this fear is usually convicted of stealthy crimes when conspirators are plotting depravity in the dark. But truly, I detest it too. When one who has caught an evil treachery then seeks to take pride in the crime. What more do you want than to capture and kill me? Nothing. Having that, I have everything. Cool. Why then do you wait? In your words, is there nothing that pleases me, and may there never be? And likewise to you, my views must be displeasing. And yet, how could I have won a nobler glory than giving a burial to my own brother? True. All here would admit that they approve if fear did not grip their tongues, but tyranny, being so fortunate, has the power to do and say whatever it pleases. Facts. You, out of all the Cadmians, see it that way. They do too, but for you, they hold their tongues. Yes. Aren't you ashamed that your beliefs differ from theirs? No, there is nothing shameful in respecting your own flesh and blood. True. Wasn't he your brother too who died in the opposite cause? A brother by the same mother and the same father. Yes. Why then do you disrespect this one with this favor of honor? The dead man's not going to support you in that. Yes, he will, if you give him honor equally with the wicked one. It was his brother, not his slave, that died. But he died, ravaging this land while he fell in its defense. Hades craves these customs, nevertheless. But the good man craves a portion not equal with the wicked one. Who knows but that these actions are pure to those below. Conviction. You cannot be friend with someone you have hated, not even after death. It is not my nature to join in being hateful, but in being loving. Then go down below and be loving to them if you must be loving. While I rule, no woman will rule me. Wow. Yeah. Look, Look, here's this maimie coming from the palace, shedding the tears of one who is near and dear to her brother. A cloud over her eyes mars her red flush face, and it breaks into rain on her comely cheek. You, who were looking like a viper, in my own house and secretly gulping up my life's blood. While I was oblivious, I was nurturing two revolutions, two aberrations against my own throne. 
Tell me now, will you also affirm your share in this burial, or forswear all knowledge of it? I perform the deed, as long as she concurs, and I share and carry the burden of guilt. No, justice will not permit you to do this, since you weren't willing to help, nor did I give you a part in it. But now with this sea of evils around you, I am not afraid to sail in a sea of suffering by your side. To who owns the deed, Hades and the dead are witnesses. A friend in words is not the type of friend that I love. No, sister, do not strip me of death's honor, but let me die with you and make due consecration to the dead. Do not share my death. Do not claim to deeds to which you did not put your hand. My death will suffice. And how can life be dear to me once I am deprived of you? Ask Creon your concerns for him. Oh, too far. Why, why do you torture me like this when it doesn't help you? No, if I mock you, it is my own pain that I do so. Tell me, how can I help you, even now? Save yourself. I do not grudge your escape. Goals. Oh, misery, will I fall short of sharing your fate? At least your tears. Your choice was to live, mine to die. At least your choice was not made without my protest. One world approved of yours, another of mine. Nevertheless, the offense is identical for the both of us. Take heart. You live, but my spirit died long ago so that I may serve the dead. One of these maidens, I declare, has just revealed herself to be without reason, and the other has displayed it from the moment of her birth. Yes, my lord. Whatever reason nature may have given does not remain with those in evil straits. It goes astray. Yours did, I know, when you chose evil actions with evil allies. What life would there be for me without her presence? Do not speak of her presence. She lives no longer. You what? Me. You will kill your own son's bride? Why not? There's other fields for him to plow. No! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! But not with such love that joined him to her. I abhor evil wives for my son. Haman, most dear, how your father strips you of your honor. Enough. Enough of you and of your marriage. Will you really cheat your son of this girl? Hades it is who ends these bridles for me. Then it seems that it is resolved that she will die. Resolved, yes, by you and by me. No more delay, servants, take them inside. Hereafter they must be women, and not left at large. For it is known, even the brave seek to flee when they see Hades closing in on their life. Wow. 